This is Claude, the mute killer of Liberty City. And one day, many years after killing his ex-girlfriend Catalina, he realized he was bored. So, what did Claude do? Why, he moved to Los Santos. Beginning Claude's Adventures. Well, hello there, everybody. It is I, Mist Bandit, and we are back for the final episode of Claude's Adventures Season 1. So, uh, yeah. Essentially, I'm going to do Season 2. The reason why I've broken the heist update into two different seasons, well, it's actually going we can be free, uh, is I'm going to need a lot of money to upgrade my equipment to do the um, upcoming heists, so probably is wise to have a whole season of grinding, which we won't be doing in Season 2. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I've broken it up into two, but I'd already started the heist and I officially decided to do that, so, oh dear. Um, so yeah, that's why this is part of Season 1. Uh, and the idea is we're going to use some of the money to actually increase our arsenal and, you know. But anyways, welcome, welcome all, to the final episode of the first season. Um, I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, you know, this is something I've been enjoying recording. Um... It's great fun, you know. It's real great fun. I'm just gonna shut up now and let the rest of the cutscene play. I'll probably cut to the actual gameplay as well instead of the loading times and shit, so. Insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies, <laughs> but uh, you know, we all got to start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know why they gave us, like, a cutscene for walking out the door, but anyways. Not a good cut to begin with, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so I'm only currently wielding a pistol, which is something we should probably correct soon. Oh yeah, uh, and if the guy who helped me make this video is watching this, uh, which I doubt it, but you never know. Because um, he is just a random person who is just chilling in a GTA Online lobby. He helped me record episode, uh, the last episode and this episode. Well, I say thank you to him. <laughs> this video would not be possible without him, so, yeah, thank you to him. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to, pretty much after this, straight after this, plan out what I'm going to do in Season 2, and then record Season 2 and edit it and put it together and just shit like that, and hopefully it'll probably be done for, like, by... I want to say some point near, like, May, June... You know, it won't take me too long to edit or anything, because, well, these videos are really easy to make. It's just a matter of skill. <clears throat> just keep in mind, like, on chances are Season 2 is only going to be, like, three episodes, three, four episodes. Due to the fact that there isn't really going to be much we're going to be doing. They're mainly just going to be, like, grinding to get some money and shit like that. It's, like, certain contact missions, and you get the idea. And the links I go for money. The links I go for money. And then after we've done that, we're gonna upgrade like bits of our arsenals. I think we might even get a new car in season two, but uh, but uh, that will be something we'll figure out once we are um there. Yeah, essentially that will be the idea. And then like season three will be the rest of the heist updates, where we might have a couple of uh, a couple of uh, other players, and you know. And that part will probably be called heists or whatever. And then after we do that, we'll probably move on to something like the Doomsday Heist or Ko Perico. Something like that. It'll, most likely, though, probably the Auto Shop, because why not? So, yeah. Um, as I, said, I estimate these will get, like, what, three seasons? Three, four seasons a year? Like, they're not difficult to make. I say like three, four seasons a year, unless I finish up all the content, which then... Um, to which we haven't got really much of a thing to worry about the now, please. 
because uh, there is uh, not, there's a lot of content and simultaneously not a lot of content in this game. We're mainly going to be doing the DLCs, like the nightclub stuff or the heists and stuff, because it's a lot more action to it. So, you know. Just if you want to I am thinking of doing uh, the LS Drug Wars Part 1 and Part 2 as well in Season 2, which is another reason why. Um, another reason why I'm taking so long with. Uh, well, it probably will take a while because we've got like we've got the last dose coming out in a few days. Um, but when I do that, obviously I'm gonna shit. When I do that, obviously I'm gonna need to um, wait for the last dose to come out. If I'm gonna do the both of them. So as soon as that comes out, I'll probably like start recording uh, the other episodes. But yeah, we're basically doing a bunch of free mud stuff, including both doses. So the drug wars. <clears throat> oh shit. Uh, da, 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 this is somewhat humorous to watch, I'm willing to bet. And then my first attempt. My first attempt at doing this went horribly wrong. <laughs> Never went to plan. And, uh, yeah. Come on. Oh shit. Like, it got to the point where the guy I was with raged quit and had to restart the heist all over again, but I eventually got the hang of it. And I definitely got the hang of it now thanks to a little thing known as practice. So, practice makes perfect, I believe the saying goes. Ooh, nice. Nice. Will we make it, or will we fail it? Let's see. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de it's like playing a game of snake thistles. Oh, I should put like some pixelated -like music like it goes. Oh, done. Yay! Finally! Party time! Ooh, uh, ooh. For those of you wondering why I'm suddenly out the car in the next uh, scene, uh, that is because of the fact I continued on uh, with the heist. I failed. And I mean the player restarted from the check last checkpoint we was on. But bad news, my darling friends. Bad bad news, really. Uh bad news. Um the reason why I didn't include the fail is because it was just like fucking fifteen minutes. Not fifty minutes, like ten minutes of me drilling a hole miserably and failing and then mission failed, which is why I've cut it out and just gone from where we actually succeeded. So yeah. Sorry about that. Alright, that did not go to plan, did it? <clears throat> Anyways. It's, uh, it's breaking. Uh, let's, go for, let's go for this again. Hopefully this time I'm not as stupid. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to include it in the, uh, the failed attempt in this video or not. If I do, it probably won't be in this video per se. I'll just put it in like a sort of outtake. Like, it's called Adventures Season 1, Episode 5 outtake. <clears throat> Something like that. And, uh, simultaneously hilarious and horrible at the same fucking time. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Drill hotter than me? Mmm. Oh, yeah. This thing's taking forever. Oh, yay! I've only got one area to do. We're already doing better than we did last time. There's like at this point the dude is already losing his patience in there and he's shot somebody. Oh dear me. Mission taking so long, surprisingly not taking too long. Stroll the safety deposit box. I beg your pardon, sir. Why would anybody want to drill that? Hmm. Oh dear. Sounds dodgy. You know, one thing I hate about this drill is I can't figure out where the actual drill is or not. Oh, there we go. It's a lot of deposit boxes. Why can't they like, steal two and just get extra money? Wouldn't, wouldn't that have been wise? No. It's me. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. 
I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I just go down a fucking cup right there. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And, and away we go for freedom. And they were never seen again. Oh, bollocks. That was a massive barricade of cop cars. Also, one slight plot hole I've just realised. If this thing existed during the events of GTA Online, keep in mind this heist cannot, uh, ca canonically, cano uh, whatever, takes place uh, three weeks before GTA 5. So the Armored Creamer existed f in like three weeks before GTA 5. Uh, 5 story, okay. Many questions I have. Number one, why didn't any of them use it? Uh, during the uh, Union Depository heist. Number two, why can't you find anywhere to purchase? I mean, you can, whereas you can just find it to buy literally straight after this mission. Hey, this like, it makes no sense. Ooh, bollocks. Drive under. Oh, I misread that then as dive under the cargo bug. It's like, bog? Cargo bog? Yes, you're a bog now. It's like a shit in there while we're at it. E bye bitches. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. <coughs> My singing sucks. Shucks. Sucks. And that, my friend, is what I call a mission pass. Hmm, nice. Mm, yes. Claude has already committed his first big bank heist, and it went better than his bank heist in GTA 3. Oh boy. Some say some say he's uh, he's tempted to shoot the guy he's working with to make sure a Catalina-like incident doesn't happen again. Yeah, I'm making a bunch of GTA 3 references because I made my character look like Claude. <clears throat> Potential take. Actual take. Nice. And 50% of take. Hmm, not bad. Leap challenge avoid. Do not quick restart. Total cash earned. I don't even know what the. What even are the point of job points, by the way? Like, we never use them or anything. They're just there. They exist. And it's like, why? Oh. I'm probably just going to cut right ahead to uh, to uh, where we load back in, and then I'll probably record the outro. So, um, yeah, I'll see you then. We're back, and I'm actually kind of now gutted that these bars, I don't think, are an actually accessible uh, interior. So Okay, now, now let's set that would have been a really cool interior, like something we can do in like, GTA 5, just enter an exit bar. I mean, that dude's having a drink, having a drink, you know, good old-fashioned GTA style. <clears throat> Piece of wasser. <laughs> Piss water. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, rockstar humor. Yeah, I don't think you can actually enter Tequila La. <clears throat> Something I might try actually later. At least then I wouldn't look like a complete and utter, uh, utter idiot. A complete and utter twat and I walk into the door and it doesn't open. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Embarrassing and hilarious. Alright, anyways guys. Uh, thank you all for... Uh, for watching and staying tuned to this uh, it's been a pleasure really I've enjoyed this I uh, hope you guys have too um, and yeah so thank you all for watching everyone and I'll catch you in the next uh, in the next season I'll probably catch you in the next video but we won't be doing like another Claude's Adventures as I said until at least May probably who knows you never know you never know but yeah anyways on that bombshell everyone uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video Goodbye, and thanks for checking out Claude's Adventures. I very much appreciate it.